Hello everyone, I am Amit Maru and today in this video we will discuss about a different uh, working model of the cloud. In that we will discuss about cloud service model. So let's start. First of all, let us have outline of our today's video. In our today's video, first we will discuss about working model of the cloud. Then we will discuss cloud service model and in cloud service model we will discuss first the infrastructure as a service then we will discuss about platform as a service then third we will discuss about software as a service so let's uh, discuss first point that is our working model of the cloud in a working model of the cloud uh, basically two kinds of model one is a cloud service model and second one is cloud deployment model in a cloud service model, we will discuss about infrastructure as a service, it is also known as IaaS, then platform as a service, it is also known as PaaS, and software as a service, it is known as SaaS. In a cloud deployment model, we will discuss about public cloud, then we will discuss about private cloud, then community cloud, and last that is a hybrid cloud. This deployment model of the cloud we will discuss in our next video and in our today's video we will discuss about cloud service model here the name cloud service model itself says that this model basically used to provide detailed idea about the various cloud services such as infrastructure as a service where the infrastructure is nothing but the storage server hardware and networking if you want to develop any software or application then you must have one platform where we can develop and run our software so cloud also provides platform as a service and last that is software as a service where your cloud provides full software and we can get any software we can uh, use any software without installation in our personal computer let us discuss this all the terms in detail first that is infrastructure as a service in infrastructure as a service it is also known as hardware as a service it is a computing infrastructure managed over the internet the main advantage of using ias that is a infrastructure as a service is it helps user to avoid the cost and complexity of purchasing and managing the physical server it means that if you don't want to purchase or if you don't want to make your own server then you can directly take server from the cloud also just take one real life example so that you can easily understand the infrastructure as a service instead of buying our own home if we go for the rent this is the real time example and through that uh, I am uh, explaining what is exactly the infrastructure as a service. Suppose if you, uh, if you don't want to buy the home and if you want to suppose go for the rent at that time your owner of the home will provide only infrastructure. So owner of the home will provide suppose this infrastructure and as a tenant you have to manage rest of the thing such as sofa set dining table cupboard beds etc so rest of the thing you have to manage your owner will give just infrastructure same way in ias cloud provider can give you the entire range of the computing infrastructure for example storage where you can store something servers instead of making your own server you can get server from the cloud networking and hardware along with the maintenance and support for example amazon web services that is aws provides this kind of uh, service that is infrastructure as a service microsoft azure google compute engine and digital OSIN. These all are the different example uh, of the cloud which provides infrastructure as a service. Now next one is a platform as a service. Again the name itself says that the cloud provides platform. The platform basically used to develop any application or software and to run on the platform. 
so cloud provide this kind of platform where you can uh, make you can develop your application or software and you can run the software so cloud provides development tools such as uh, editor debugger compiler using that we can develop our own software or application along with cloud provides programming languages such as java php ruby perl etc also provide application frameworks such as uh, node.js joomla wordpress spring play etc also provide databases such as a clear db postgresql mongodb redis etc and provide operating system database management and infrastructure it means that if we go for the platform as a service at that time your cloud provides infrastructure as well as platform so that we can run we can make we can develop our own software or application and we can run on the platform given by the cloud now last software as a service with the saas you do not need to install and run the software application on your computer if you have not installed any software inside your computer still we can uh, run this software by using cloud so in our previous video we discussed about one example that is a google drive using this google drive we can run microsoft office without installation of the microsoft office in our personal pc it means that in our personal pc if you have not installed microsoft office still you can use microsoft office by using google drive you have to just use your uh, browser you just open the google drive then you have a different option of the uh, word powerpoint excel etc so you can use microsoft office without installation of the microsoft office in your personal pc so everything is available over the internet when you log in to your account online you can uh, usually access the software from any device anytime as long as there is an internet connection you must have internet connection you have to you have one your login and password using that you can access any software without installation of the software in your personal computer so this is also very good uh, uh, service uh, provided by the cloud now let us have a comparison of these three kinds of services so that you can have a brief idea about it in our uh, infrastructure as a service your cloud provides infrastructure as a service and infrastructure includes networking storage servers and virtualization this is the part of the infrastructure so once we go for the infrastructure as a service then your vendor or we can say the cloud manages networking storage server and virtualization and rest of the things our client has to manage so this application data runtime middleware and operating system will be managed by the client if we go for the platform as a service at that time your cloud provides infrastructure as well as platform so your cloud manage infrastructure like a networking storage server and virtualization plus platform it means that operating system middleware and runtime so it is a part of the platform where we can develop our application and we can run our application so if we go for the pass at that time rest of the thing like application and data must be managed by the client and remaining all the things will be managed by the cloud if we go for the software as a service at that time your cloud provides all the services like uh, infrastructure it means that networking storage server and virtualization platform it means operating system middleware and runtime as well as application and data so full package or we can say the full software will be provided by the cloud so everything will be managed by the cloud so this is the comparison between eas pass and saas now finally we can conclude that if we go for the eas then cloud will manage physical data center servers networking and storage 
if we go for the platform as a service then including this infrastructure plus your cloud manage operating system database management and development tools if we go for the software as a service then your cloud provides full software and everything will be managed by the cloud so this is all about cloud service model i hope this uh, video will be useful to understand cloud service model so thank you thank you for watching this video thank you again